Hey everybody, it's Harold from Living in the Hill Country again. Now that I have my potatoes harvested out of this raised bed, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant some uh, tomato plants in there. See what we can do to harvest some of that. And maybe a couple of plants of okra. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness right here in the hill country of Texas. You can see the raised bed uh, all cleared out, nice and clean, ready to be replanted. Uh, pretty exciting. Let me show you what we harvested. So here's what we harvested, and I'll uh, put a link to the uh, video. But uh, I was pretty happy with that harvest. And uh, now that we have that raised bed, let me show you what I have an idea of putting there. So here are some of the plants that I had that have not been sold through my plant sales and taken to market. And so I figured before these withered off and died or I had to compost them, I'd go ahead and plant some. And I think what I'm doing here is I have two yellow pear tomatoes back there and they're you know about three and a half inch or three and a foot three and a half three and a half foot tall that one over there is a little bit wilted but it just needs to get some water it already has fruit on it and uh, we're going to get those planted i have uh here two roma tomatoes now i do have this one back here and it's doing really well so far so i wanted to add to it and so we put two more of those here now here i have two brandy wine pink those are the ones that get really big, like one to two pounds, uh, the tomatoes do. Um, and we're going to see how successful we are with growing those. And then here, I got two different types of clem uh, uh, okra. I have the Clemson spineless on the left, and then the Louisiana green velvet on the right. And I'm putting them side by side in two different rows so they get the same exposure to sunlight. Um, and have the same benefits as far as uh, uh, the uh, atmosphere, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to see how they, they produce uh, side by side and see what the differences are. I've grown the Clemson Spineless before. I've just never grown the Louisiana Green Velvet. And one of the two is um, less spiny than the other, so we're going to find that out. Anyhow, also I have an idea. Because these plants have been growing in these pots now for a few weeks, I'm sure that they're kind of not really root bound, but the roots have established. The root established. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom off and plant these halfway down the pot so that we still have the integrity of the root system. And try not to compromise that as much and still allow them to uh, spine out and, and go throughout the, uh, the, the bed uh, for its nutrients. Now, when I do this, I'm going to put in blood meal and uh, bone meal in the areas so that they have that um, source of, of uh, fertilizer. But um, needless to say, just to protect the integrity of the root system, I'm just going to cut the bottom off and then... Uh, plant them that way. So let me do that and we'll see how this works out. I'll kind of walk you, I'll show you the first one, see how I do. If I can get a good shot here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them done, but we'll see how this works out for us. So I have my clippers here. I don't know um, if that's going to work well uh, cutting the bottom of these off or not. That's a small potato right there. But um, I don't want to hurt the integrity of the, the root system. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to try and cut this off like this. Kind of like now I'm going to have I think I'm going to have to get a pair of scissors do that. So let me give me a second, I'll be right back. Well, I couldn't find a pair of scissors. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my utility blade. And I'm just going to cut from hole to hole like this. And hopefully not hurt the root system. See there? Now, I know that tomato plants are pretty... pretty hardy, they're pretty easy to grow, and they can withstand a lot of, a lot of uh, abuse, but I just, I just want to protect that root system, see that? And I might be cutting some of those roots off, that's what I'm concerned about. I don't know, maybe if I hold my, hold, see I got the bottom cut off there now, what I'll do is I'll just open this ground up here, right here. See that root system? So we'll just move this out of the way. I'm going to put a little bit of, I don't have very much, but I'll put a little bit of uh, blood meal in there and uh, a little bit of bone meal now. The dogs are going to be coming around here. They like the smell of this stuff. Put a little bone meal in there. I'm going to mix this all up a little bit. And then, like I said, I'm just going to plant this guy like this. All right? And I'm just going to. And that'll also, I believe, help support. have additional moisture, access to additional moisture. Now this is a Roma tomato. I, I don't even have to move the tag. I can just leave the tag right there. So you see that that's planted halfway down now. And it's in position. We're going to see how this works now. See, he told you he'd come around. He smells that bone. You'll leave that alone, buddy. Or Turk. So, so that's what I'm going to do to the rest of these. I'll get that taken care of, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the final results. Okay, so as you can see, we have them all planted. And they're all planted about halfway down. You know, give or take a few inches here and there. And uh, I added some blood meal and bone meal underneath them. And uh, to be honest with you, the roots really have... Uh, on some of them, especially like the uh, brandywine uh, tomatoes, those had roots pretty well all the way around the bottom. They were really wanting to expand out. And uh, the, um, the okra, not so much, but there were some roots there. So it, it looks as if the tomato plants were the ones that were wanting to get out and, and do a little more growing. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get these all watered up uh, right along with the rest of our garden that we have to get uh, watered today. Uh, thank you for watching this. I really appreciate it. Um, and um, if you like uh, th these videos, I would uh, request that you uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, give it a thumbs up, and leave some comments in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, I'd simply like to say... God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.